Hi everyone, this is Teal from Pucklebox.com. Today I want to review the Intuos tablet that I just bought. Uh, this is the Intuos tablet released by Wacom in the third quarter of 2015. Under the Intuos line, they actually released four models. The four models are called uh, Draw, Art, Photo and Comic. So the one that I bought is called Art. So in this review, I will give you an unboxing. Uh, to show you what's inside, I'll talk about the performance and I will also talk about the differences between all the four models. So let's start with the unboxing first. So this is the box. Um, the, this particular tablet, the art version of the tablet, comes in two sizes, small and large. So that I bought the one that is large. Before I start, I want to say that uh, as Wacom tablets go, they are compatible with Mac and Windows. This one is compatible with Windows 7, 8 and 10 and supports Mac OS 10.8.5 or newer versions. Okay. We have the tablet. Uh, it's a very thin tablet, as you can probably tell. It's about maybe the width of my finger. It comes in different colors. You have the option to choose different colors. And for some models, they come in white, black, or they have the mint, blue, and black, or the just the black version. This is, I think, they are. Let's see what's inside. This is okay. This is their driver CDs. I think I've already downloaded the drivers from their website, so I'll be using the drivers that I downloaded uh, because uh, my computer doesn't have a CD drive, so I don't have. To, I cannot use the CD disc. This is, I think, the USB cable. Yep. This is the USB cable. So, and then we have the tablet, ta uh, the pen. And that's about all. This is a very simple tablet. Uh, it's very thin, I like it this uh, way. Let me compare it with the Wacom Intuos uh, 3 that I bought many, many years ago. This is 8 by 6 inches, uh, the working area is 8 by 6 inches and you can see that this uh, large version of the new tablet has a larger working area. And the sides are also streamed down a bit so this is much more compact. The pressure sensitivity uh, it supports to uh, 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity so that's about the same as the Intuos 3 from years ago. I, it's still working so right now I just bought this to maybe upgrade from that. This is the Intuos 3 uh, stylus and this is the new stylus. It's much more streamlined, there's no rubber grip but uh, it's a matte body and it feels uh, quite sturdy when you hold it and it doesn't actually, uh, it's, it doesn't feel slippery at all. So two buttons on the Stylus, uh, the nib, and no eraser at the back. So on the tablet itself, the working area, um, you can see those little dots on the working area. Then they have two buttons on the left and right. Each a total of four buttons, so you can work either, even if it works for the left-handed as well as for the right-handed. Then at the top we have this little flap thing. I'm not sh too sure what that is for. And all the ports are lined up at the top. So this tablet works on USB connection and you just plug it into one of these ports here. Okay, this is the back of the tablet and there are quite a few features and things hidden behind the flap. So let's open it up just by sliding it up and removing it. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are some words that are engraved onto the plastic itself. 
Now then let's go through it one by one. And these words are actually instructions for and labels for the pots that are just above. So these are the pots that are above, and these are the instructions um, for the pots. We have a pot for the lock, and then we have this uh, switch here. This switch is for the touch features. So for this particular tablet, we have the touch uh, multi-gesture features. So you can either turn it on or off with this switch. And this is the battery. If you get the wireless unit, and you need a battery for this tablet so that it can uh, get powered up. So this is where you are going to put the battery. And this area here, this is where you put the wireless module. So once you put it in, I think you just slot it down to this connector here. And in the middle of this part, this part is the extra nips. Three extra nips are provided. And then there's this little circular thing here. This is for you to uh, replace your nip. Just put it inside, twist it a bit, and you can just pull out the nip. So it's that easy. And then we have this part here. This is, let me see, storage for wireless dongle. I think it's just a place for you to keep the, maybe the cover for the wireless unit or something like that. And lastly, at the corner here, we have the, we have the USB cable port. So let me try and plug in the USB cable port. So it goes in like this. That's the you you can actually plug in the cable with the flap on so you don't have to actually do that. So it plugs the USB ports plugs out from the top left corner of the tablet. Uh, the USB port is some it looks like this this L shaped thing. Okay. That's it. Let's uh, look at the differences between the different Intuos model first before we start testing this tablet. Actually, before I start using this, I want to talk about the differences between the four models. Here's a chart comparing the differences. So the four models would be Draw, Art, Photo and Comic. And for Draw, the main difference is the software that comes with each tablet. So for Draw, we have ArtRich Lite. For Art, we have Corel Painter Essentials. For Photo, uh, it depends on which uh, OS you are using. For Windows, we have Corel Paint Shop Pro, After Shot Pro. And for the Mac version, we have MacFoon Creative Kit, Corel After Shot Pro. And for the Comic Tablet, we have Clip Studio Paint Pro and Anime Studio. The other difference is the availability of the sizes. So the photo is only available in the small tablet size. For draw art and comic, we have small and medium. So the one that, I'm, that I show you just now is the medium size. The price is also a bit different. And the cheapest tablet uh, is the one called draw. And the other difference that is not mentioned in this uh, chart here is that the draw tablet does not have the multi-touch function. So art, photo and comic, they have the multi-touch function. Just now I talked a bit about the switch that gives you the multi-touch. So that is not available in the draw tablet. So I guess that's why it's a bit cheaper for that. This is in US dollar and pounds. Okay, I have just installed the Wacom driver, restarted my computer and plugged in my uh, tablet. So after I plugged in my tablet, this Wacom desktop center opens up immediately. This is one of the control panels where you can use to change some of the settings on the tablet. So you can change things like whether you are left-handed or right-handed touch settings, pen and button settings, and stuff like that. 
So I'm using this on a Mac OS. Currently I'm using 10.10.5. The other place where you can change the settings will be of course the under the settings system preferences, the Wacom tablet, this one. So under this you have several things that you can change like the tablet, the key, express keys, the shortcut keys on the these shortcut keys that you can uh, set them to different buttons on the left and right you can set them to set different applications to use different buttons as well because um, here you can see that there's this Photoshop Illustrator so I can set different buttons uh, for different software then you can adjust the pen you can adjust the pressure of the pen what the clicks do what the but clicks what the buttons on the stylus do there's the mapping feature uh, talking about the mapping feature I'm not sure if I mentioned just now the working surface uh, is for this medium sized tablet is actually around 5.5 by 8.5 uh, inches so the working area is actually um, on those dots the area where you, they show the dots those will be the working area then we have touch options, standard gestures, and on-screen controls. Uh, I want to talk more about the standard gestures. These are gestures that I would say maybe you would probably have used them on your smartphone or maybe on your iPad or tablet. This would be things like uh, tapping on the tablet to click, so or using two fingers to swipe, or three fingers to move around the area and things like that. I'll show you some of the features while I use Photoshop and Illustrator later on. I did not install the software provided because I'm not going to be using that but I'll be using the software Photoshop and Illustrator to demonstrate some of the uh, gestures uh, later on. Okay so maybe let me just show you the first gesture which is tapping on the tablet to open stuff. Uh, this tablet has touch features so actually you can use the your finger to move the mouse cursor on the screen so now I'm doing that let me close this window so you have to move uh, you just tap it on the screen and you can it will register as a click so let me just close this as well and let me move down to my dock and open up Photoshop. So I'll just tap it once and it will open Photoshop and another one for Illustrator. Okay, let me zoom in closer to Photoshop and see how it works. I use a wireless keyboard by the way. Uh, the keyboard gives me more options for shortcuts. So let me create a new file. Rotate this 90 degrees. So once you plug in the tablet and you have the drivers installed, the tablet just works uh, straight away. So right now I've chosen a big brush just to show you how pressure sensitive the stylus is. So I can go from thin. This is actually my first time using uh, this tablet so it will take a while to get accustomed to the pressure sensitivity but from what I can tell it's very similar to the Intuos 3 that I use or the Intuos 4 or 5 that I use in the office. So you can go from thin to thick very very easily. So even though it doesn't have 2000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Personally, I think 1024 levels is pretty much use is very usable actually. It's very very usable because currently I still use 1024 at work in the office. So this is uh basically Photoshop. Very smooth actually. Has no no lag whatsoever by the way. Let me demonstrate the rotating features of the touch tablet. 
so you can basically hold two fingers like that and do it on the tablet and you'll be able to rotate the tablet something like that or you can do pinch down to zoom the uh, zoom out or zoom in if you have used an uh, Android tablet or iPad uh, some of the features are actually just the same or three fingers to oops this is not pen let me undo so in this case I don't think this has uh, three finger gestures for Photoshop okay uh, when you are in a drawing application you can use your finger to move the cursor around but it will not draw on the surface so only the stylus will be able to draw uh, on the surface your finger will not do that which is quite good because um, you won't, don't want to get confused okay Adobe Illustrator I've picked a big brush and I set it to be pressure sensitive so let's see the thin strokes and the thick strokes thin and thick, thin and thick you can see that it has absolutely no lag at all and just draw a very um, doodle, maybe a car maybe. oops Remind my sorry about this uh, quick sketch maybe. So what I want to show you actually is some of the gestures. So you can use two fingers on the tablet basically just to move the car around, uh, pinch and zoom. And let's see if we can rotate. Mm, doesn't work for uh, Illustrator. Maybe it doesn't support the function. yep uh, so it doesn't really support the function so other gestures that are set inside uh, using the Wacom settings would be maybe the four finger pinch and zoom so uh, pinch will give you the what is this this is command center and if you uh, pinch out it will give you the desktop so there are a lot of other gestures you might want to learn as well so those are pretty handy so that is all for the review for this tablet um, it's a very good tablet it performs very well and very predictably as you would expect from a Wacom tablet I don't have anything bad to say about this actually um, the construction quality is very nice it has some nice texture surface very smooth and what I like, really like about this is that it's really very thin and it's very light as well so you can pack it into a bag very easily to bring it anywhere to your office to school or back home and the USB cable is detachable also so it's more convenient for you to pack it around so it's a very good tablet uh, uh, one thing I want to note I uh, want you to know is that the pen doesn't have the eraser um, also it doesn't support the tilt uh, sensor sensitivity so it's just pressure all the way 1024 levels of pressure but no tilt sensitivity and eraser but other than that I think it's very good this one has a touch version personally I would um, I prefer using the keyboard which I feel that it's more productive that way rather than using the hands to zoom when I can use my other hand to uh, zoom with the keyboard and keep my hand on the stylus uh, drawing at all times this is the medium sized tablet I bought it to uh, go with my 27 inch monitor so if you have let's say a smaller monitor maybe it would be better to get a smaller tablet the small tablet is about 6 inch by 3.7 inch that's the working area of the tablet this one is about 8.5 to 5.5 uh, inches or maybe slightly smaller than that so that's uh, the size consideration you want to get I'm not sure if I mentioned the buttons just now the buttons are very nice also it has a nice click to them I think that's about all uh, if you have any questions just feel free to ask them in the comment section below this video and if you find this video helpful share it with your friends as well and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel because I'll be putting out more art product reviews in the future as well as videos on sketching thank you for watching and have a nice day